that's what you start with. That's after flattening it, and that's after straightening it out. Got about 3 16 of an inch here of uh, good medium to high carbon steel, and it's pretty fun to work with actually. Here I fitted up a guard off camera just because I didn't really want to do it on camera because I really don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, I cut out some handles off camera as well and now I'm just going to harden and glue it all together. It literally just fits. That's what she said. Okay, moment of truth. That's hard. I'll take it. I got a little bit of purple right there while tempering. It sounds fine though, I mean. And again, I don't want this thing to crack, that's why I'm trying to get a nice blue temper on the back. So the, the spine is nice and soft because this thing is pretty large and I don't want to go right here and snap into. I don't want to cut through the whole thing right now. I mean, all this is just my butter knife, so yeah, just a piece of bread. There's nothing worse than having a uh, butter knife that you can't get enough butter on your toast. But with this knife, you could just put the whole stick of butter on, smear it all over your bread, and then you're all good to go.